Okay, so now we're on to lip crayons. This one should be easy. I'm going to keep my Bobbi Brown ones. I have them in the shades um, Dusty Pink and Rose Brown. Yeah, Dusty Pink and Rose Brown. They are beautiful. I'm getting rid of these. Um, these are from Primark. There is a fourth one which I saw moments ago. Now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. So there are four from Primark that I'm just going to get rid of. I mean, they're nice enough. So nice. I mean, they're, they're only a pound each. They're really good for the price. I've done a blog post on them before. Um, I like them. I'm just not going to get to them. So I'm just going to pass them on to someone else. I'm going to be getting rid of all the e.l.f. matte lip colours. I love this formula, absolutely love it, but these have actually started going bad and I'm not going to get through the ones that are alright. Um, this one in particular, the Nearly Nude, absolutely reeks, like I, I can smell it from here. like. I'm like I'm like a foot away from it and I can smell how bad it is so I'm just gonna get rid of it um so we have the shade nearly nude praline rich red which is actually really beautiful I just didn't get a lot of wear out of it um we have coral tea rose a cat tail and I have four four of the color natural again I absolutely adored this lip pencil and then I stocked up on it and decided to try other things so yeah I'm I'm just never buying backups again that's just the thing now never buying backups the NYX lip pencils I really like the formula they're very very nice you can't actually see them Let's move them over here. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get rid of most of them. Cat, can you like find a place to curl up? I'm sorry, I'll move these things. There you go, it's your corner free. Go on, kitty. Go on. Get your butt in the corner, please. Thank you. So the NYX Jumbo Lip Pencils, I really like the formula. I really love the colour range. In fact, there are only maybe... There's like four that I would like to keep. And I think I'm gonna... Well... No, no I'm not. Um, we have Hot Red, which is really nice. Um, deep red again really nice Narcisse which is a really like vampy sort of purple shade that I never really got a lot of use out of pecan oh no it's some pecan this is rose brown which is very very old can you tell by the packaging like that's how NYX that's the NYX logo from back in like 2011 yes that's how long I've had this lip pencil for it's shameful these four I really like a lot. This particular one is Honey Nectar and I'm most definitely going to repurchase it in the future. It's probably the same with Chaos. The only reason I, I'm probably going to get rid of them is because the caps in them are busted and yeah like they're really creamy and everything but I just I don't feel good using them. This one in iced coffee is a new one, so I'm going to keep hold of it. Very, very nice colour. Like, you can even tell just from the difference in the packaging there. Like, this one is a good couple of years older than this one. And then we have Plush Red, which I do really like. I'm going to hang on to Plush Red for a little bit. 
and get rid of the other ones. I'm going to be getting rid of all of the um, gloss sticks from Silk and Glory. I'm almost certain there is another one, like a lighter pink shade that I can't locate at the moment. But we have Technical, Technicoral, Purple Rain and Pink Punch. They're all right if you just like a sheer bit of colour. If you're looking for something like the Clinique Chubby Sticks but cheaper, they're a great option but I just don't reach for them so I'm just going to get rid of them. Um, speaking of Clinique Chubby Sticks, I have two, both of which were gifts. This came in a Christmas set, the Strawberry, Super Strawberry and the... Whopping Watermelon came in a gift of purchase, neither of which I really use. Um, it's like, there's nothing there. Um, so I'm just going to pass these on as well. Um, Revlon Kissable Balm Stains, which I have several of. I'm going to be getting rid of the original shades. We have Honey love sick and crush because they've gone bad they, they just they've just gone bad i'm also going to be getting rid of shameless as much as it pains me i freaking adore 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 this color but even in the swatch you can see how patchy it is and it just i've never been able to make it work and i'm, I'm done i'm done with it the other three shades however i really like we have Elusive, um, Sultry, which is a very, very nice one. And we have Captivating, no, it's Enchanting, sorry. All three very nice colours. So we're keeping hold of those guys. I have three similar products from number seven. We have Daydreamer and Raspberry Wine. So there is Daydreamer again. It's, it's really sheer, but it has some colour to it, which I enjoy. We have the Raspberry Wine shade, which is very similar to one of the Revlon ones, but this is slightly more brown. Again, I do really enjoy it. And this one is Romantic Soul. It's one of their High Shine. It's just pretty and kind of unique and I don't really have anything else like it we have my Maybelline color drama matte lip pencils which I freaking adore so I'm gonna keep hold of those guys and try my best to use them up same with my NARS matte velvet lip pencils I'm gonna keep those as well I have the shades Damned and Cruella. One's a, like a wineish colour and the other one's like a red. And then we come to these guys, which I... Oh wait, no. Before before we touch Colourpop, before we touch Colourpop, I do have two from Kiko, which I'm just going to keep anyway. Um, We have the shade number 10, which is a beautiful, beautiful nude. And then we have the shade 03, which I adore. It's like a a metallic goldy shade you can see it. oh it's it's pretty it's pretty so we're keeping hold of those guys and then we come to these bad boys i have been trying to pan one of the shades this is parker um i'm almost done with it but i don't want to keep using it just to use it i don't like the way these smell like they have like the smell they naturally have is like a, well that one doesn't have it, that one's gone bad. <laughs> um, let's see, do you have it? It's just, they all smell really plasticky, a bit soapy, they have an, that has no smell at all actually. <laughs> or they have like a really overpowering synthetic vanilla. Or like the cupcake scent. And I'm just, I'm not feeling the smell. I can smell it every time I try to use them. Um, sometimes I think they're a bit too slick. Um, the matte ones, 
I like them. I like, like, they're, they're not too matte, but it just, I find they smudge really easily. I kind of thought that these were going to be a lot more like the matte lip colours from e.l.f. And they're just, they're a bit too creamy and, uh, I'm just, we're, we're, if, It hurts me a little bit because, like, I spent all the money on them and now I'm just going to turf them. But I just, I don't like them. I don't go, yay, I'm going to use the Colourpop Ultra Lippy Sticks. No, no, I'm just not feeling them. I've tried really hard. I've tried, I've tried several times to get in with them and we're just not gelling well. So we are, we're parting ways, guys, we're parting ways. So, this is what I'm keeping, so this is what I'm getting rid of, I'm getting rid of 46, I don't even know which way is best, here, 46 lip crayons and 18 of them are Colourpop lippy sticks, that is, that's astounding. But it's what we're doing, so let's do it. Next up we have lip glosses, lip lacquers, lip stains, matte liquid lipsticks, the whole, the whole jazz. This may take a while, but I do know roughly what's staying and what's going. What is definitely staying are these NYX soft matte lip creams. I have seven of them. I have the shades Stockholm, Abu Dhabi, London, Addis Ababa, Copenhagen, Antwerp, and Monte Carlo. Love them. They can stay. Also staying are my YSL glossy lip stains. I really like them. I have the shades number 25 and number 3. I will be getting rid of the NYX Extreme Lip Creams, to be honest. I never really got on with the formula. I've tried several, several times with them. I just really didn't get very far with them. So we're just, they're just going to go. Same with the NYX Butter Lip Glosses. These I actually do like. I just haven't really reached them for a very long time. So I'm just going to get rid of them. Same with the Revlon Gloss in Super Natural. Not really reached for it. It's gonna go. Uh, L'Oreal Caress in Milady. I don't even know when they discontinued these, but it's been a while, so we're getting rid of you. It had um, it was like one of those weird sort of um trying to mimic your lips being stained by an ice pop. Um, looks cute and sexy in, in theory in reality it's just me. did not work well for me I'll be getting rid of these Milani power lips these are the lasting and moisturizing gloss stains I liked them to start with but they're kind of awkward a bit messy they're like a click up pen thing and I find that they you know like it globs out it's really kind of thick it's a bit sticky um so I'm just gonna get rid of these guys I don't even know if they still make them but yeah getting rid of them I'm keeping these the color drama intense lip paint from Laura from Maybelline in the color strip down and the lip paint god they're both lip paints the lip paint from L'Oreal in Dead Lips. I really like these products, so I'm going to keep hold of them. Same with the... Now, I know these are discontinued, but I like them. So I'm going to keep them for a little bit longer. These are the Color Elixirs from Lo from Maybelline. Um, we have Petal Plush and Caramel Infused. So I'm going to keep hold of those guys. I really, really like them. I'm going to be keeping hold of my... NYX lip lingeries. Now just give me a little second to gather up all of them. 
So those are my NYX lip laundries that I'm going to be keeping hold of. And I'm also going to be keeping the liquid suede lip gloss, lipstick as well. I really like them. I will be getting rid of my Rimmel Apocalypse because these were discontinued a very, a very long time ago. I think almost two years ago now. They didn't really stick around very long, which is a shame because they're an amazing formula. And I was contemplating throwing these away and buying new ones um, just to discover that they no longer make them. So, yeah, we're, we're getting rid of these guys. I'm also going to get rid of my e.l.f. lip glosses. I've kept them from the last couple of declutters, I think. And I've just never really reached for them. So I think it's about time to just say goodbye. So there, there wasn't that many left, to be honest. And the only one I'm like kind of desperate to keep is this guy. And this is in the shade golden glitz and I'm kind you know what I'm, I am gonna keep hold of this one this one it makes me happy just look at it and hopefully I can find like a dupe of some sort I probably have one in my collection but we'll we'll hold on to it just for a little bit just for the Christmas season this year and then we'll toss it later but the rest of them they gotta go another range that I'm keeping hold of are my bare minerals gen nude lip creams because i adore adore the formula i really like the nyx matte lip i really like N the, blah, the nyx lip lingeries there's oh there's only so many times you can say lip before you start tripping over yourself but i really like the nyx lip lingeries but these ones are definitely my favorite matte lip formula the um butter cream no they're called the bar gloss the glossy ones. I can't remember what these ones are, but they're the Gen Nude matte lip creams and they're fabulous. And I also have one of the glosses, which is fabulous. So I would totally recommend checking out this range. Really like the lipsticks as well, but that's a whole other video. These are the MUA Luxe lip lacquers and some that were left from the Revolution ones. I will probably keep the Rebel one from Revolution because I do really like the colour and I do wear it on occasion. The rest of them I will get rid of because I just don't reach for them at all. Like at all. <laughs> the Colourpop liquid lipsticks. There is one that isn't here in the full size and that's dopey I don't know where it is but when I find it I'm trashing it because last time I saw it it was all separated and disgusting and smelled funky but yeah so I've got these I've got these five here and I've got all these mini ones that I I've used a couple of times I don't really, I don't know, I don't really think much of them. Um, just let me quickly smell them. It smells alright. smells alright. smells alright. Alright, so I'm going to keep... Little stitches. I'm gonna keep Times Square and Echo Park. Barracuda and Viper are gonna go because I don't really like the colours like at all. And I'm also gonna get rid of the mini ones because I'm just never gonna use them. So they can just go. Okay, so we had to move on to my nightstand to be closer to the socket. Um, but we just have a little bit of miscellaneous stuff left. Um, most of which I'm probably chucking. So let's get into this. We have the Clarins Quench Lip 
gloss that's gonna go these ones from soak and glory these are the sexy mother pucker lip lacquers they're gonna go um this lip super gloss from kiko in the shade 07 like i kind of like it it's different but i'm never gonna wear it so we're just gonna get rid of it i didn't I didn't actually purchase it. It was like in a gift bag when the store opened. Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss in the shade Rose and Shine. Not going to use it, so let's just get rid of it. The Bourjois one, which I really, really like. It's in the shade Brun Poetic. It's really pretty. I will probably eventually repurchase it. But for now, it's going to go... Oh, there's another elf lip gloss that we've already decided we're tossing these milani ones i kind of like but i've had them a really long time eh, mm. just get rid just go just all y'all go Um, I'm going to get rid of my remaining Max Factor lip glosses because I didn't, I haven't, I don't think I've touched them since the last declarer, so they can go. Also from Max Factor are going the Lip Finities. They're really pretty and everything, but I just haven't used them in a really long time. So I've got two of the dual ones that are really, really pretty. One is called... Um, it's called the Color and Gloss Duos. One of them is in Glowing Sepia, and the other is in Luminous Pearl. I also have two of the classic Lip Finities. I really like the Lip Finity formula. They're like the OG liquid lipstick. Like, yeah, if you're looking for really good lips, liquid lipsticks that are like really, really good go to Max Factor. They do really good ones. Um, but I just haven't used these in a very, very long time. I have the shades one. Oh, it's rubbed off. It's, I think it's 101. Oh no, it's 001 and the shade 160. They're both just really gorgeous. One's a, like a light nude and the other one's a darker nude. The Raglan lip lacquers of which I have three these are like the new ones they came out to and replace the color burst lip glosses um well I say replaced they did not replace at all I love the color burst lip glosses a shame um they just mine have gone bad um, I have this one and I had one in Sunbaked, which was basically this colour. Um, but I can't find it at the moment to show you. But I'm going to get rid of them both. And I'm getting rid of the lip lacquers. These are the Revlon Ultra HD lip lacquers. And I just didn't really... I didn't like them. Didn't like them at all. Cargo, um, no longer stocked in Debenhams. They lasted like a grand old of like three years or something. Um, they keep coming into the UK and then disappearing again. This is in the shade Tuscany. I liked it. Um, I should have finished it while I had the chance, but you know, whatevs. Um, Tempting Tea Rose from Estee Lauder. I'm going to keep hold of this guy and finish it up. I do really like the colour. Other Estee Lauder ones I'm keeping are the two lip lacquers. I have one in Vinyl Rose and the other one in Potent Petal. They're very, very similar, but not the same. One is more brown, one is more pink. I may eventually end up parting ways with one of them, but not at the moment. Keeping my Chanel in Giggles. Really like this colour. This is my um, By Terry Bomb de Rose liquid formula. My Dior gloss I really, really like. Um, I'm going to get rid of this Lancome one because it's really, really old. It's one of the first products I ever purchased from Lancome. 
so <laughs> I'd hate to think how old this actually is. It's a really nice gloss. I would possibly repurchase it, but um, I'm gonna get rid of it for now. Same with the um, Super Stay Lip color from Maybelline in Prune Placier. It's very, very pretty, but I have other colors now that I can replace this with. The Jouer, I actually haven't given this a fair test, so I don't know whether I like it or not. This is their matte lip cream in Lychee. So I'll give that a, a test drive. My Charlotte Tilbury gloss in Seduction, keeping. My two L'Oreal glosses, keeping. The sparkly one is in Resist Me and the pink one is in Amen. And then we have my Guerlain gloss in the shade 463. I don't actually know what it's called. I'll have to look it up, but it is very, very pretty. So that is a grand total of 64 lip glosses, lip lacquers, and lip stains, and liquid lipsticks that I am getting rid of. I feel really happy about this. Now they all fit quite happily in the same drawer rather than in like four separate drawers as they were before. So I'm I'm really happy with this declutter. Um I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.